Hello. In this problem, we are uh, given the following situation. There are three cyclists in a race. They're rounding a semicircular curve. All right, so this looks more or less well. Yeah, this looks that looks more or less semicircular. At least this part over here. Oh, not really. Okay, let's try. Okay, that's a little bit better. So the center of this circle is about here. Okay. And it is a semi semicircle. So this one here you know, will continue over here in this direction. We don't care about that direction very much. But you know, the center of the circle is here and the radius of curvature is 20 meters. So these three cyclists are, I will say a little bit below the center and then mm, a little bit further away, maybe over here and then I know it's up here. Or maybe here. Okay, so these are the three cyclists. This is cyclist A, B, and C. They all have the same mass. The mass of the cyclist is 75 kilograms. And they are all, uh, the, their instantaneous speed of all of them and each one of them is 10 meters per second. All right, so cyclist A over here is using her brakes to apply a force of 375 newtons to her bike. Brake. Three hundred seventy-five newtons. Cyclist B is coasting, so nothing there. And cyclist C is pedaling, resulting in a force of three hundred seventy-five newtons. And we must say that. These are magnitudes. Um, all right. So this is a situation. What we are asked to do is to, on this diagram, draw each cyclist acceleration vector with its tail on top of her present position, indicating the directions and lengths reasonably accurately. Indicate approximately the consistent scale you are using for all three acceleration vectors. Extreme precision is not necessary as long as the directions are approximately right. And lengths of vectors that should be equal appear roughly equal. Assume all three cyclists are traveling along the road all the time, so no wandering across their lane or wiping out and going off the road. And that's important because it tells you that there is a radial, a centripetal, um, acceleration towards the center of this circle. All right, so first thing that we, we, we have these um, forces over here, 
we need to get the velocity, the uh, centripetal acceleration. So there'll be mass times acceleration centripetal. And we know that this is V squared over the radius. All right, so this centripetal force is gonna be 75 kilograms. And it's the same for each one of them because they have the same velocity and mass. Then 10 meters per second squared divided by the 20 meters. All right, so the centripetal force is 75 times 100 divided by 20, that is 375 newtons. All right, so now we know why they're saying that forces that are equal should look equal. So this is 375 newtons, same as uh, these ones in magnitude. All right, so let's draw the forces. I have my ruler over here. So I guess I'm gonna do like three, let me see. Yeah, so each 100 newtons is going to be one inch. And so I can draw uh, this one first towards the center. And so it's gonna be 3.75 inches. One, two, three, 75. Okay, more or less like that. And then um, we know that the this is breaking. Uh, she's applying the breaking force. So it's going to be in the direction opposite of motion. So we can do the same 3.75 or so. And well, this is more kind of like this. Right. So to make adding um, a little easier, adding the two vectors, uh, we can put this one over here. So it will be 3.75 more or less the same angle. Something like this. All right, and so the, the result, let's see if I can find a better color. It's going to be the black vector over there. All right, and we do uh, the same thing with, uh, with B. Actually, B has no force in the tangential direction. It's only the radial direction. So we can use the black color directly. And this is going to be 3.75 inches in this direction. So one, two, 3.75. Right. So it looks like this. So this is vector B. And finally, this one is going to be uh, 
five. One, two, three, three, five. In this direction. And then 3.75 uh, in this direction because she's pedaling. So it's in the direction of motion. So yeah, it's probably fine. So one, two, three, three, five. Kind of like that. And to make it um, easier to add, we can put the 3.75 in this direction, kind of the same angle. We can use the black color to get the resulting vector and it's going to look kind of like that, right? So if we want to make things a little bit easier to see, maybe we, we can get rid of these pink vectors, the components. And that's how the, the three vectors um, look like. So this is a cool problem. I always like, I always like problems in which we can do things with you know, ruler and paper. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this problem. Thank you.